Do any of you at home struggle with keeping your balance with that trusted bar stool from your kitchen and all you want to do is replace your light bulbs that are burnt out in the basement and then all of a sudden, whoop, 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 whoa, and then you try to fix it and this is what happens and then you're working hard and you spill your coffee on all your hard work. You get so angry, you take that bar stool and you chuck it out in the yard. Well, guess what? Today is the day where you can teach that trusted bar stool a lesson and not just screw in screws and bolts. We're gonna take a Fronius AccuPocket 150, which is battery powered with 40 lithium ion batteries, and we're gonna weld it together so you never have to worry about those screws or the nuts falling out when you're trying to enjoy a sip of coffee. Yeah, cool, sounds good. All right, see ya, bye. Don't just look like a professional, be a professional. Fronius Professional Welding Tools, since 1945. Get no when the whistle go What is up YouTube? It is I Chris Today I have another video for you Obviously because you're watching uh, Or maybe you're a newcomer So if you're a newcomer hit that subscribe button Give me a thumbs up after you're done watching as well But in today's video What we're going to be talking about Is how you choose the best shielding gas For MIG welding Plain Jane Mild Steel with that 110, 220 multi-process MIG welder you purchased either a year ago, two years ago, or just recently. Um, there's a lot of different gases you can choose from just for welding Plain Jane Mild Steel. So I want to um, call up a few distributors, see what the pricing is, see what size cylinders I'm going to need. Go pick those up. We'll weld some... Uh, thinner sheet steel, some thicker sheet steel out of position on 110 and 220 so you can educate yourself on what shielding gas you actually need for that new machine you bought. This photo right here represents the different sizes of cylinders or gas cylinders you can choose from. The typical size that I see in most shops are the T-size cylinders. So the T-size cylinders have a volume of shielding gas or standard cubic feet of 300. So 300 standard cubic feet in the T-size cylinder. So depending on how much CFH you're running on your flow meter, that's going to determine what size cylinder you need and then also how long it's going to last. You know, um, that's just not arc on welding. Obviously you have like gas pre-flows, post-flows, purge time. Um, if you're doing like back purging and stuff like that, if you're TIG welding, you know, obviously you got to determine and make the right choice on your, your cylinders. Thanks for calling Bakers. This is Brad. How can I help you? Hey Brad, how you doing today? Good. 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 Hey, um, I'm looking to rent and pick up some gas cylinders. Um, I don't have an account set up with you right now. We can probably set you one up. Okay, um, I'm not doing much like fabrication or manufacturing. What I what I want to do is I'm basically test welding with like four different gas types on steel. Okay. So I don't need a lot of volume or cubic feet. So maybe, I don't know what you think, maybe like 80s or 125s, like gas yeah, cylinders. Probably something like that. What mixture are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for 100% uh, CO2, 75-25 uh, okay. CO2. 90 10 CO2 and then 95 5 oxygen. Gotcha. Uh, the 95 5 oxygen and the 90 10s are, I think the smallest we're going to be able to put them in is a 100 or 125. Okay. Uh, 75 25, we can get you all the way down to a 20 cubic foot or a 20, uh, 20 CO2. Uh, we can get you down to a 2.5 pound CO2. Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't be any problem at all. If I went with like the 20 on the CO2 and the 75, 25, that, so that'd probably last me, what, like an hour if I'm running like 20 to 30 CFH? 20, 20 cubic foot, 75, 25 would give you about an hour. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends on your flow rate. Yep. You know, it depends on what you run for flow. Yep. That's yep. Your, uh, CO2, your straight CO2, and 20 pound CO2 will last you two months. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Because it's liquid? It's, yeah, it's a liquid. CO, CO2 is a liquid in the cylinder. 
Mm-hmm. When you mix gases, you're not putting liquid in it, you're just mixing the gases. This weekend we're going to go pick up those gas cylinders and me and my kids are going to do this video. So stay tuned, click that like button. Thanks for watching, here we go. Morning everybody. I got the three hood rats with me. We're going to bear the Christmas shoppers and we're picking up some welding gas. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at Baker's Gas in Jackson, Michigan. They got eight store locations all over mid-Michigan and some that cover Ohio. What's different about Baker's Gas is they usually have Ace Hardware's attached to them. So you can get all your hardware, your welding gas, your welding wire, your welding machines. They're the one-stop shop. So this is why I'm really big on independent distribution, either family-owned, or employee owned because they bring an end user experience that some of the big corporates can't bring. Sort of like filling propane, like your grill propane or your 500 gallon propane right outside your house. They can do this here too. So next time you're in Michigan or Ohio area, make sure you look up Baker's Gas because they're a one stop shop. See these gas cylinders over here? We're gonna get one of those, actually four of those. Hopefully my kids don't go crazy. Let's go inside and see what they have. Getting the grand tour right now. You guys coming back? Where's Lincoln? Lincoln. Let's go. Uh oh. Here's your 9010. Okay, so this is a, what is this, a 100? This is a 100 cubic foot cylinder, yep. Okay, so this is a 100. So this would be an 80. That's an 80. And then that's a? That's a 40. Look at this thing right here. It's a remote controlled trash can. It's so slow. Where's the, where's the remote, Laura? Can't find it. Let's give it a little bump. Don't do that. A little bump. Don't do that. Wait a minute, there's a person. There's a person. 